Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Dog Fabrication. So today, as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to modify my Harbor Freight trailer for Hot Rod Drive Week or Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 for 2020. So as you guys know, um, you know, Hot Rod Drive Week for 2020 was canceled due to COVID. But, you know, there's a guy that's maybe putting on Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 for all the drag weekers. So I'm gonna go ahead and still continue on with the build of my trailer uh, to modify it. Now kind of walk you around what I used it for last year, uh, a couple of things I was suggested to do, and then how I'm gonna modify this thing here in just a minute. So with that said, let me do the walk around, show you, you know, how I used it last year. I'll throw in a few pictures. well uh, actually at the event last year um, and how I was pulling it it pulled great um, even with the little puny tires on it I did not have a single look of trouble with this thing um, so you know it was nice behind the dart pulled well you know I was only cruising 60 65 and the trailer did awesome but I want to make some improvements because I didn't have time last year to make the changes and after walking around the pits I saw a couple trailers that I liked and I want to incorporate some things stripped down and what I stripped out was pretty much everything the previous owner had done um, I bought it used for I think a hundred dollars guy was using it to tow behind his motorcycle um, and basically rigged it up so the one thing I did do is before I uh, took this out to drag week last year I did weld you know the tongue you know here and here um, as well as on the back side there you know, because I didn't want the tongue coming and breaking loose. I had heard there be people were having problems with that. I also welded like these joints, you know, welded the joints there, 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 you know, welded the corners up here. So that way I've got, you know, a nice structurally sound trailer. Um, the other thing I did is you'll see like the, uh, the nuts there um, and in the back for the, you know, the wheels or for the, uh, I should say the spring. And then, you know, for the axle bolts there, I did take those off. And while they are a nylon lock nut, you know, they're a cheap Chinese nylon lock nut. And I put um, blue Loctite on all the fasteners. I just want to make sure I didn't have any problems, you know, with the fasteners coming loose. Um, I'm going to double check them just to make sure they're all still good and tight. Um, and then, like I said, just general, some quick maintenance after having a thousand miles on it last year. And now what I'm going to do is start building the structure of it. Um, you know, probably have to remove these lights and then uh, figure out how I'm going to put the structure on.
So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of how I made my little uh, trailer here. Now I'm using this specifically for Hot Rod Drag Week or Rocky Mountain Race Week. Um, but you can do a lot of different things with this little idea. Uh, you know, if you just have a small passenger car and you want to go on a trip, um, you know, this is something that's easy to make from a Harbor Freight trailer and modify it uh, real inexpensively. Um, you know, if you've got like a trail Jeep, uh, you know, and you're going to go, you can put a bigger tires and wheels on it, um, you know, kind of lift it up. And then, you know, it's the same kind of a deal, right? You got your cooler, you got extra gas, you know, you've got plenty of storage um, to pull this, you know, to go on a camping trip, you know, whatever you want to do, you know, for a day adventure, day at the beach. Yeah, anyway, you guys get the idea. You know, you can you can do a lot with this tra this idea to modify it to suit your needs. The one other thing I am going to do is I'm going to add a couple of these lights, you know, onto the rear spoiler. Um, you know, just as some additional running lights, brake lights, so, you know, people don't run into it. Um, you know, the third light on the back here, I switched my car over to LED lights, and the trailer is all LED lights, and the third brake light from the factory spoiler won't work. So I bought a couple of these little cheap lenses, put a couple of little LED lights in it, and they'll work, you know, off the trailer now. So I just need to wire them up. So I hope the, uh, the general idea, you guys got a concept or some thoughts of what I did, how I did it, so you can build your own little uh, modified trailer to suit, you know, whatever you guys want to do. So as they say, uh, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for future content. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Um, so get out in your shop, fab something up, and uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching.